Hi, this is Richard Byrne from Free Technology for Teachers. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a custom search engine using google.com slash CSE. So I'm at Google Custom Search, and I'm going to get started by clicking Create a Custom Search Engine. You'll notice in the upper right-hand corner here, I'm signed into a Google account. You do need to have a Google account, either a Gmail account or a Google Apps for Education account to do this. Now let's simply get started by putting in the URLs that we want indexed by our search engine. So I'm going to start with freetechforteachers.com. Maybe I'll add in uh, history.com. But one of the nice things about Google Custom Search is that I can be very specific in the page URLs that I uh, put in my search engine. So for example, if I didn't want my students to be indexing all of history.com. I may use history.com slash topics instead. So now the search engine will only be looking through this particular page when my students use my search engine. Let's add one more website quickly. iPad apps for school dot com. Right. Great. Now let's pick my language and my name. You'll notice by default Google has named my search engine after the first URL that I entered. Just to change the name here, we'll call this Mr. Burns Search Engine and click Create. And that's all there is to creating a custom search engine. I have a couple of ways I can share the search engine. I can get an embed code and copy and paste that code into my classroom blog or classroom website. Or I can simply click on public URL and open up the URL that will take anyone directly to my search engine. Uh, that's kind of a long URL, so I might drop it into the Google URL shortener, goo.gl, goo.gl, uh, to make it a little bit easier for my students to copy down. Or I maybe just post that link on a blog post for students to use. If I want to go back and edit my search engine, perhaps I want to add more sites or delete a site, under the Edit Search Engine tab here, I'll select the name of my search engine. I only have one in this particular account. And let's go to Setup. And now I can add another site if I'd like to. I can delete a site. I can change the language. I can enable image search. Right now I have it turned off, so let's turn that on. Notice when I turn that on, it's telling me the search engine is now out of date. So simply refresh and we're good to go. Uh, under my look and feel tab, I can change the layout and the colors and the font size that my search engine uses. Some nice little features uh, that I can use in my custom search engine. So give it a try today. I think you'll like it.